All right, here we are in a beautiful late afternoon, Northern California, Pinole, California. Looking at a very nice, bad to the bone, T10 with Cheyenne trim. Very nicely done uh, resto mod along those lines. It's very pro-built is how I'd put it that way. It's got a beautiful straight body on it. It's finished in a uh, kind of a burnt orange, as it would, I would call it. And uh, over white body sides here. The interior is just beautiful. As we get around, we'll cover it like we always do. We're going to walk around and cover everything. We actually get it up on the lift. On the front, it has 17-inch uh, wheels and tires on it with Michelin radials on it. it. has Boss wheels on it, five-spoke, retro style. It has 18s on the rear. Fit and finish of this truck is really nice. The Restore uh, clearly knew what he was doing when he built this. It's relatively fresh. Within the last year or so, couple years, it has 338 miles on it since it was done. The fit of the panels and the fit of the overall truck is nice. Nice smaller size mirrors here. We'll get into the interior as we come back around and over on the passenger side, but it's very nicely done contrasting interior. Along the lines of a body on, bed off style restoration, we'll get it up on the lift like we always do. Underneath the hood here is a uh, 383 stroke Chevy small block, 383 stroker, has a 700R4 automatic overdrive transmission. It's been lowered correctly with drop spindles and the C-notch uh, axle flip kit so it's structurally right. Again power steering on it. And the biggest thing this owner likes to talk about is the drive. Um, and I agree, this is a nice driving truck. It sits right, it drives right and it's fun to drive. That's what it's all about. Tens are really nice right now this area. This is a nicely, uh, a very nice example, so to speak. Again, we'll cover a lot of the fit on the panels. We took some photos of it in the sun that we'll have at Spud's Garage for you so you can kind of pick up the color in the sun. But we really like you to pick up the reflections as we do our photo shoots, so that's why we shoot them most of the time in the shade. And when the sun's low in the sky like this, uh, makes it a little bit tough. We're already picking up some glare there. Again, the fit of the hood. Probably one of the best fit in hoods I've seen. It opens right. It's not edgy. Um, these are big hoods. And you can see the fit of the panel here. The gaps are almost perfect all the way through. get silent there and kind of give you a feel. Matching mirror, driver passenger side. Nice little uh, auto sounds system in it. The interior is just string tight. The upholstery is beautiful. They did a nice job with a combination of a nicely kind of contrasting light chocolate. A little bow tie sewn over the houndstooth interior here. The upholstery is done on a factory seat. Again, very nicely stretched, retractable uh, seat belts in it, door jam to door jam. Very nice CAD plated hinges here. The dash is finished just as nice as the rest of the truck. It has a factory AC vents right here. It has uh, in the glove box here is the audio cable so you can connect your Bluetooth to it. Custom auto sound, a chrome tilt steering column. We'll get over in the driver's side and cover all the gauges. Full seat belts, Cheyenne custom uh, interior in it and sun visors. Finish on the inside of the truck is just like the rest of the truck. Little tiny heel ding right there, no big deal. Again, the way it fits, and it's a beautiful body underneath as far as these things are very susceptible to rust. We spent some time on the undercarriage covering that for you, so hang on to the end of the video. We'll cover that. If you're interested in the C10, this is a great looking truck. Sun's just peeking out too there. We'll get to the bed here. In just a moment, you can see how straight the body sides are on it. Cheyenne trim tailgate with a wood grain. Chrome bumpers front and rear. No trailer towing for this one. This is a hot rod. Getting the bed here. It's finished in the pretty much the same level as the rest of the truck. You'll see the, the fenders are uh, 
the wheel wells there all finished off it has all new uh, hardwood hardwoods in the bed with polished stainless straps this is the uh, fuel I don't know if I can do it with one hand it turns and then it pops up if I can get my thumb on it I don't have a rag but it pops up and then you unscrew it and you fill in the bed here Beautiful day in the park. Kids riding bikes, motorcycles riding through. Again, we'll step back. The exhaust exits, exits out here. I do want to step back and kind of give you the stance again. This, uh, this truck really rides right, looks right, sits right. Again, going to the door jam to door jam here. Like the houndstooth. Nice factory style loop carpet. Data tag here. Again, this is all really solid. Really solid example to do it with. So it's a perfect kind of example to do it with. Tilt wheel, grant steering wheel, wood grain. Wall factory style wiring, very nice underneath the dash here. Speakers in the kick panels. The shift indicator for the AOD. Full gauge pack, like would have been in a Cheyenne. <laughs> anyway, see tack, battery gauge, amp gauge is working. Temperature's working, it's in the normal range. I don't know if you can see it there. Oil pressure. Right at the top there, fuel gauge reading uh, between empty and a quarter. AC controls work at right here out of the, from the factory. I just turned the fans on. Heat and AC all work. Again, power steering, disc brakes, power disc brakes. Get out and let you hear it run. Fun truck. We're thinking you get it. Hang on to the end of the video. Like I always say, go to spudsgarage.com. Have a great day. Oh my, take a look underneath the hood of this one. Very nicely done pickup truck. Firewall to fender aprons. This is very nicely detailed underneath the hood here. We'll cover that portion of it first. Finished in the same color as the exterior of the truck. Um, quite clear, somebody knew what they were doing when they put this truck together. It's got a uh, stroked Chevy small block, 350 small block, stroked to 383, so a 383 stroker. It has uh, Patriot aluminum heads on it, aluminum heads, roller rockers, Edelbrock fuel pump down here, Headman headers, long tube headers. Has an air gap Edelbrock intake manifold on it, RPM. GM HEI ignition. Has a 700 R4 automatic overdrive transmission. And it's very nice. Power brakes, power disc brakes in the front. All GM, all the wiring is uh, OEM replacement style wiring on it. The fender aprons are finished in a satin black here. It has power steering in the front with factory suspension and drop spindles. You'll see it's nice and tidy all the way through here. Great looking pickup. Uh, not overdone, just right. It's very healthy. So if you want something that's got a little horsepower, this one will do it for you. Nice driving truck too. I probably already said that through the video, but this truck drives. So, fun one to roll around in. Uh, the carburetor on it is an Edelbrock uh, AFB style, I believe. It has a uh, chrome alternator on it. There's the air conditioning right there. Chrome pulleys on it. Factory style radiator and fan shroud. Not factory style radiator, factory style fan shroud, but it has an aluminum radiator and it runs cool. Uh, receiver dryer for the air conditioning here. here. 
anyway we know you get the idea nicely finished go to spudsgarage.com hang on to the end of the video All right, we got it up on the lift here to share the undercarriage with you. Like we always do, we try and get the undercarriage first so we get a feel for it, but you see this last. Anyway, nicely, uh, very solid truck along the lines of a uh, bed off, body on style restoration is what I would call it. They finished the inside of the fender and or the bedsides here. Very clean. Um, the wiring harnesses in it are really nice factory style fuel tank that they put but it's got a bed fill we've already shown you on the walk around I'm sure uh, dual exhaust that exits out the sides and the tail here factory rear differential that's been updated what they've done is used a uh, flip kit on the rear axle uh, you still maintain the good leaf spring ride from the factory but it really braces the uh, the frame here where the uh, C notch is on that so you'll see the components that they use their powder coated hammer powder coated kind of thing stock short and gas shocks in the back drum brakes in the rear all the wood's been renewed on it I'll just kind of bounce around here and cover it for you inside of the beds here more along the lines this is not a mirror truck but a definitely a rock solid truck that you could drive thrush mufflers this thing's obviously got some horsepower we've already talked about that uh, you've been underneath the hood nice two and a half inch exhaust with thrush mufflers still has a center carrier in it the carrier bearing here so it's a two-piece drive shaft but this is where you really want to look at these trucks when you take a good look at them um, this is solid they have a, t a tendency to rust in this area back in this corners that kind of thing I think they may have put this piece in right here, but the sub floor brace is nice. Rockers look nice all the way up to the side here. They've put new body mounts on it, on the frame. Again, two and a half inch exhaust crossover. It's got a 700 R4 uh, transmission in it, automatic overdrive. Go over to this side here, share the same with you rock solid this is where they're the weakest area on these trucks and again that's where you want to look when you're looking at one of these these 72 c10s are getting pretty dang hard to find uh that are nice and solid like this i'm going to pull this back so I can move up here in the engine there's the bottom of the uh, 383 stroker engine here I believe those, correct me if I'm wrong as I get up top here, but I believe they're hooker headers, could be headmans, long tube headers. It's got a nice sound to it. You've already heard that. Disc brakes in the front, looks like drop spindles. Obviously, you have factory GM suspension and disc brakes on it. All new shocks, all four corners get up here kind of give you a look from the front updated stabilizer bar stabilizer bushings silicone red silicone bushings anyway rock solid really neat do a little walk around here and cover the tire sizes for you it has uh, Michelin Premier LTKs on it 23560 R17s in the front Boss five spoke wheels. All the trim lines up really nice on this truck. Both rockers on both sides, they could have spent a little bit more time on the finish here. There's a little bit of a run on the bottom of the rocker here. But you know, you never see that from the top. You're gonna drive this and have fun. Back tire size is a 255-55 R18. Again, a Michelin tire. Uh, it's a Premier LTX. Didn't go cheap on the tires, that's for sure. We just finished the extra. I like the factory stock bumper in the back. Kind of gives it a hot rod truck kind of feel.
Again, the back corners of the cabs here are really nice. There you have it. Go to spudsgarage.com. Hang on uh, where I'll have plenty of photos of what you're looking at right here. You're at the end of the video. Have a great day.